the ID Tech X uh, trade show here, and who are you? My name is Andy Bear. I'm a product manager for Panasonic, and we're here talking about our developmental thermal setting uh, resin technology that we've used uh, to make a uh, stretchable film that is incredibly durable and heat resistance and chemical resistance. So this film, we've got both a film, as you can see the base film, and we've got a conductive ink made of the same material. So we're promoting these materials and looking for partners to help us to bring these to market. So, uh, and right here, you're also showing it in a different way? Yes, so what we've got here is a Shiatsu massager, of course, for a Japanese company, yeah. showing the durability and the flexibility of this construction on a stretchable fabric. So we talk about stretchable materials. Uh, right. What What is the material you have? All right, so over here, this is the base film. This is a 50 micron film. Yeah. Uh, we can make it from 25 to 150 microns, and you can see it's a stretchable film. Most uniquely, this is thermal setting chemistry. This is not thermoplastic, so it's high temperature, uh, chemical resistance, and it has slowly, because it's stress releasing, it slowly relaxes over time, and we'll go back to its uh, original shape with virtually no hysteresis. Next to it is a uh, uh, conductive uh, transparent electrode. What does that mean? That means this is the base film coated with carbon nanotubes that could be used to construct a display, a stretchable. Display. This film could be used with other materials to construct to potentially construct a con uh, stretchable or bendable uh, or foldable display. So you can do a display like this maybe? You, using this material with other, in combination <laughs> with other materials. And then over here on the right, we've taken this base film and applied the uh, conductive uh, paste to Is make it silver? a silver paste, very high temperature, very high durability. Very and unique feel to it, isn't it? All this it? stuff, where would it go? What could uh, it be? We think that this can go in a variety of applications, including uh, medical devices, wearables, automotive, aerospace, and even perhaps uh, PV or renewable energies. Consumer electronics? Absolutely, absolutely. And we're looking for partners to help us bring this unique uh, material out to market. So are you finding those partners around here? Absolutely. In and addition to it, ones that we're already working with. Is absolutely. it a trade show for that? It's been phenomenal for us. So, how is this industry, uh, is this uh, what's called, uh, this is printed electronics? This is printed electronics, that's correct. So how, how is your experience with that? How is it going? Like, what are we looking at here, okay, for example? sure, sure. Uh, so what we're showing here, this is actually, yeah. we're actually showing a uh, LED yeah, mounted, that was an LED mounted yeah. on a uh, piece of uh, the conductive film. Um, so here's again it's showing the uh, elastomeric film compared to uh, polyester or a urethane material and you see the other ones deform after stretching and our material returns its shape. This is uh, comparing a urethane film in solder which of course gets all boogery and melts and our film here will then go into the solder pot, watch in a second, he lifts it up and it retains its shape and its integrity. So a compatibility with uh, existing uh, high temperature uh, assembly processes, as well as potential high temperature applications. So how do you find all these new materials? Do you look, search everywhere? Mm, these, new materials, these new materials were invented in our R&D departments in Japan. So this is a very, uh, there's no other material like it around. So nobody has this? Nobody only has Panasonic. this. Only Panasonic? Only Panasonic has this developmental material. Is it new? It's very new. It's thermal setting, non-silicone, uh, resin technology. So this uh, this industry, the printed electronics industry, potentially is going to grow. There's going to be lots of stuff happening, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And we consider this to be an enabling technology because of its high temperature, uh, chemical resistance, and uh, durability. So we think this is one of the things that's going to take and really help wearables like uh, shoes and clothing and medical devices really hit the mainstream. So what kind of uh, potential partners are you looking for here? I'm going to be a little evasive. Uh, leaders in any of those industries I mentioned that would like to come work with us, uh, we want to work with advanced engineering groups. We're not here to replace existing TPU. We're actually here to uh, help address the uh, constraints that we've got with those existing materials.